Okay, so now that we've finished the presidential shoe shine, you can see that these clever leaves have really been totally uh, renewed. Uh, beautiful shine, you know, soft patina. Uh, the finish is very even. The leather is very hydrated. I mean, these shoes uh, are really prepared for another good year of wear. But let's say that you're someone that enjoys a higher gloss shine on the toe. Well, in order to produce a mirror shine, you really need to be using the Saphir mirror gloss. It's gonna allow you to produce a mirror shine much faster than using the Saphir Pate Deluxe alone. And the reason is, is because the Pate Deluxe is kind of more of an all-purpose uh, wax polish. It has a higher concentration of solvents uh, in there, um, which just makes it difficult to produce that high gloss shine. The mirror gloss polish, which is Saphir's newest wax polish, has a very high concentration of hard waxes uh, and a very low solvent concentration. So it allows you to build up that finish of hard waxes easier and much more quickly than using just the Pate Deluxe wax alone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and apply a few coats of the mirror gloss to build up that base of waxes on the toe box. And then after that, we're gonna come uh, back over with the Pate Deluxe, which has those higher solvents to really kind of melt and buff those waxes uh, to provide a nice little glissage. Okay, so the first step of building a mirror gloss is that you really have to build a pretty thick layer of wax polish, hard waxes, on the toe box. Now what that's gonna do is, in order to produce the mirror shine, you have to fill and glass over all the open pores uh, on this leather. And you do that by building up a, a wax finish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our high shine cotton chamois um, with a little bit of water and then just begin applying several coats of the wax polish. Now anyone that's used to using the Pate Deluxe wax polish will immediately notice the differences uh, with the mirror gloss. It's a much harder, much drier wax polish that does require a little bit of getting used to, but it is incredibly effective at building up and producing a mirror shine. So I'm just gonna apply this in circular motions. Now once you feel the chamois begin to drag on the leather, that means that the polish is dried and you need to buff it off. I'm gonna apply a generous coat since this is my first coat of waxes. Now one thing to note, a mirror shine will take longer the first time you do it because again, you have to build up that foundation of wax polish. Uh, once you've done it uh, several times, um, you know, then producing it becomes a lot easier. So while that's drying, I'm gonna apply the same coat again. This is a hard wax, so you really have to put your hands into it uh, versus the Pate Deluxe. And I'm just applying this on the toe box. So after you apply that, you know, once it dries, you're gonna see it kind of cloud over. And then, you know, spray a little bit of water on your cotton chamois. Uh, I'm using our high shine chamois. And uh, whenever I'm buffing the wax off, I like to use kind of the back portion of the chamois kind of on the back of my fingers because uh, it's got less wax. So I'm gonna buff this off using light pressure. Again, and what you're doing here is you're just trying to buff to a light shine. Uh, again, you know, at this stage, you know, we're not gonna produce a super high gloss shine until we build up, you know, three, four, you know, five layers of the mirror gloss polish. Once we've done that, once we've built the foundation of the mirror shine using the mirror gloss, then we're gonna come back over with the Pate Deluxe uh, to really glass it over. So you'll see here, I mean, you're just, again, light pressure using small circular motions. And what you're going for is you just wanna remove any of the clouding before you apply that next layer. Okay, so you can see we're starting to get a little bit more of a shine. I can see those waxes, those hard waxes begin to fill in those pores. This is just my second coating, uh, or second layer. Um, so, you know, I really think that I probably need to do two or more.
two or three more. Okay, so that's my third coat. I'm gonna do a fourth coat. You know, really pay attention to the area of the shoe where you can see, you know, the open pores still producing an uneven surface. Another coat. All right, I'm gonna buff off my third coat on the left shoe. Okay, I'm gonna apply a fourth coat here, a little bit of water. I'm gonna tighten my chamois. Okay, this is the fourth coat on the right shoe. So now that we've built the foundation of the mirror shine using the mirror gloss, then it's time to come back over it with a little bit of the Pate Deluxe wax polish. Now the higher solvent uh, concentration in the Pate Deluxe uh, is going to allow us to essentially melt down and begin to glissage over that wax foundation. Uh, the Pate Deluxe wax polish has a much higher concentration of solvents in it. Um, and so it makes it difficult to actually produce that foundation, but perfect for really glassing it over. So here, we really wanna be using a small amount of polish, you know, just, just enough to kind of wet your chamois. Uh, less is absolutely more, and the reason is, is if you use too much of the Pate Deluxe, is you're just gonna pull all those layers that you just added off because those solvents are gonna melt the waxes. So I've got a little bit of water, a little bit of Pate Deluxe, and then what I'm gonna do is just really lightly kind of begin to buff that toe box. Okay, now the wax is gonna dry a little bit. You know, use a little bit more water. And again, you're gonna produce some initial fogging, but just continue to buff using a real light pressure some water, and small circular motions. A little bit more polish. And if you're feeling the chamois dragging across the shoe, you don't want that. So just add a little bit more water using your spray bottle because what that does is it just kind of lubricates and allows the chamois to glide across uh, the wax polish. You know, you really, I think the best analogy here is kind of like wet sanding. I mean, you're almost wet sanding, you know, that thick layer of wax polish you added with the mirror glass with this finer, um, the finer Pate Deluxe. And it's gonna take a while, you know, to really see that mirror shine begin to emerge. Again, once the chamois is dragging, you know, add a little bit of water, a little bit more, just a tiny, tiny amount of the Pate Deluxe.
and it little it really takes a while you can't rush this if you find that your chamois is maybe dragging a little too much just switch to another area of the chamois that um, is cleaner again water just a little bit of wax polish there we go it's gliding much smoother So you can see, I mean, this is probably after 20 minutes, right? The shoe on the left, you know, I've fully buffed off using the Pet to Deluxe wax polish, and the one on the right is where we ended up after just using the mirror gloss, and you can see a pretty substantial difference. Okay, so after a lot of um, polishing, you can see that we finally have produced the high shine on these uh, uh, Cleverly shoes, and you must say it's beautiful. Um, with the mirror glass, you're really able to do this much more efficiently than before. Uh, one of the important things to remember is that there's really no like hard formula. You really just have to play with it. So with these, you know, this shoe, the right shoe took a little bit longer than the left shoe. And I felt like I needed to come back on top of it with a little bit of additional mirror glass in order to build that hard wax foundation and then resume uh, polishing and buffing with the Pate de Luxe um, wax polish. Uh, one of the other kind of tips is that if you really feel like you're just not making any progress, you know, just stop for a little bit. Let the shoes sit, let the wax dry and further harden before you come back on top, uh, you know, to continue buffing with the Pate Deluxe. And then the closer you get to the real high shine, the mirror gloss, really the less and less uh, additional Pate Deluxe wax polish you should be applying at a time. So really on your last buff, I mean, it should just be a tiny little tap you should hardly put any on there, you know, just to finish that final buff. Uh, thanks for joining us. This is, um, you know, always a pleasure to, to kind of help um, people learn how to shine their shoes. And the, the, the mirror shine is the pinnacle of, uh, of uh, shoe shine techniques. So if you have any questions, uh, please ask them in the comments section below or feel free to email us at uh, shoeshine at hangarproject.com. And thanks for joining us.